bitch, I'm drunk as fuck, like I'm stone cold. All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking gosh darn live video. Shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers and the Master Marks Militia in the motherfucking chat and in the live chat. Today's video is simply titled The Iron Claw Review. Now, originally, I wasn't going to really go see the Iron Claw. I was going to wait for it to come out on like a HBO Max or Peacock or some shit like that or whatever. Um, but my homeboy called me uh, the day after Christmas and he was like, bruh, <laughs> he like, you got to go see the fucking Iron Claw. Uh, the movie is good as fuck. So um, the story is basically the family of Devon Eriks. Um, everybody knows that family. Everybody knows that there is a, a curse um, with Devon Eriks. I don't think it's been something that has been happening lately, though. I think the curse may be over. Who knows? Hopefully. Um, but it's just basically, you know, a movie, you know, a biopic on the Von Eric family. Uh, of course, it starts off early with Fritz Von Eric, um, and then two young boys and his wife, blah, 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 blah. And then fast forward um, into the wrestling career of Kevin Von Eric. Um, now, the thing about Kevin Von Eric is, I think he liked wrestling, but he didn't really like. He didn't really have a passion for it, you know, like there was there is a uh, something missing for him, which that is probably the reason why in this movie, because because a lot of it at first, you know, you had like Kevin Von Eric versus um, King Harley Race and shit. And if he beat King Harley Race, he would get an NWA title shot. That was a portion of this movie. Um, and of course, he takes a backdrop, whatever, whatever. But you can see that Kevin didn't really have the passion for it as much as the other brothers did. Um, because something we bring up 24-7 is charisma and mic talking. And Kevin just didn't have the skills to cut a promo. Um, a, lot of cut, a lot of the skills of cutting a promo, you have to have the passion for it. Wrestling can't just be like because this is a family business or you're forced to be in it or whatever. You have to have a passion to be a wrestler and talk on the mic and cut promos. And Kevin really didn't have it, which pans into David taking the mic. Um, David cuts the promo that was pretty decent, whatever, whatever. You know, fuck NWA. He didn't really say that, but whatever. Um, and from there... You know, the dad came to the conclusion, Fritz Von Eric came to the conclusion that David would be the person that would challenge for the NWA title. Um, and this is where it starts to get it starts to get wild. Um, David's coming up. And of course, Kerry Von Eric, the other brother, you all know, Kerry Von Eric. He comes back because I guess, you know, the president at the time said that motherfucking um, the U.S. was not going to compete in the Olympics, which caused Kerry to have to come back. Uh, so now the Von Erics, they're wrestling as a trio, blah, blah, fucking blah. This turns into the situation where now David is being told by the dad that he is going to Japan to fight for the NWA title to get some recognition around there. Oh, good Lord. Oh, my God. Um, Sorry, I got distracted. He's going to Japan to get some recognition around there. David leaves for Japan. Of course, he comes back. And this is going to be just a quick review. He comes back, and he, he's back for um, Kevin and his wife's wedding. Kevin and his wife's wedding. And then Kevin goes into the bathroom, hears some vomiting, David's in the fucking, what's the name, throwing up. I think David might might have, I, I might have said that wrong. I don't think David had left for Japan just yet, maybe. But I think he was about to leave for Japan. Uh, David was throwing up in the toilet, whatever. Kevin was like, I don't think you should go to Japan. They start laughing. Ha ha, he, he fucking hell. 
I know I'm giving all the spoilers. If you haven't seen the Iron Claw, you probably don't want to listen to this. Whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Um, and this is quick as fuck. Uh, so David goes to Japan. They get a call. He had, I think, a ruptured intestine. David fucking dies. (laughs) David fucking dies. David dies in fucking Japan. That's the first one. And of course, you know, Jack is the first one that little Jack is the first one that passed away. David dies. All right, whatever. So the dad, they got to move on. That's the first funeral. They said one of them got to step up. Kevin said he wanted to step up. Carrie said, no, no, I want it. I want to do it. Carrie goes to Japan, beats Ric Flair, becomes the NWA champion. This nigga Carrie is throwing all the motherfucking liquor back. I mean, he drinking all the beer. He said he having a hard time coming down off of the win of the NWA title and bringing it home to the Von Eriks. Carrie goes out, gets in a motherfucking motorcycle accident, loses his motherfucking uh, leg. Carrie can't finish wrestling. So mind you, Mike, which Mike didn't want nothing to do with no fucking wrestling. He wanted to play his guitar, probably smoke some weed, chill with his dogs, and have a good fucking time. Mike didn't want nothing to do with no damn wrestling. Mike didn't want to wrestle. Mike didn't want to wrestle. But he was forced to. Mike gets in the ring. He's green, of course. He can't really wrestle good. He gets in a match, injures himself, puts himself in a fucking coma. In a coma. Now Mike in a motherfucking coma. Mike gets out the fucking coma. Whatever, whatever. He try to play the guitar. Mike really can't even talk no more. He barely can talk. He can't play the guitar. He can barely motherfucking talk. Mike fucked around, took a bunch of pills, drank a beer, went out into the motherfucking field, and died. It's the second one. That's the second one. Now, Mike did. Now, mind you, I am going to be real honest with you. <clears throat> Fritz Von Eric was doing his hardest to be Joe Jackson. He was doing his motherfucking Joe Jackson impersonation like a motherfucker. He was. He was doing his hardest to be like Joe Jackson. He was pushing them boys like crazy. They, they, the thing is, just because you're successful at something, if your child don't have a passion for it, you can't push them in it. You can't. And the crazy thing about it is when Kevin and his wife had their first baby, he didn't even want them to have a Von Eric last name. He wanted them to have an Atkinson last name. It's a curse. Kevin didn't even want to go home to his wife. Kevin didn't even want to go home to his wife because he was scared that the kid was going to get the curse, that the baby was going to get the curse. I repeat Mike, though, because Mike didn't even really want to wrestle. Mike just wanted to play the guitar and chill. But no, nah, he got to get forced into it. So now, Kerry ain't got no damn leg. He's trying to figure out how to wrestle again with just one leg. I guess he finally gets, gets the hang of it. He gets signed by the WWF. And we know what happens next to Kerry Von Erich. Um, I mean, I know that had to be a real challenging time for him when he lost his leg. He lost a lot of probably a lot of confidence and, and a lot of himself from doing that. Carrie comes home for Christmas. He brings his dad a gun. Carrie looks fucked up, man. And I feel bad. For, I feel bad for all of Eric's because, I mean, this situation is just a sad, sad story. This is not like that bitch ass motherfucker Chris Benoit who made something into a sad story. It didn't have to be sad. It was made into a sad story. R.I.P. Nancy and R.I.P. Daniel. I repeat them motherfuckers, man, for real. Um, this is a sad, sad story. You know, Carrie comes home. He gives his dad a gun. His dad didn't even go out and shoot it. Carrie calls. I, I'm assuming that this maybe is a couple days later. Carrie at a hotel. He called Kevin. He's telling him, like, man, I'm fucked up, man. I don't want to deal with it no more. If I'm cursed, then I want to die. That's crazy. A family curse that's then cut... They've been taking over the mind of all these people that they just feel like they have no choice but to die because of the family curse. And it's crazy. And, and I don't think the family curse of the Von Erics is just because 
of a curse. I literally think it's just neglect. Neglecting your children. Not fucking with your children and pushing them into things that they don't necessarily want to do. So they get into lifestyles that they don't necessarily need to be in. That's what I think it is. I don't think it's a curse. Maybe the first child was an accident. Who knows? But at the end of that, um, of course, they try to get Carrie back to the house. As soon as Kevin pull up, he hear a gunshot. He go out to behind the tree. Carrie then shot himself in the chest. Carrie did. And of course, you know, there is Chris Von Eric who did die as well. They didn't really put him in the story because his story is he was so young and he didn't really have a big time frame in the Von Eric family. And he didn't really, you know, have a lot of time in that storyline. So they kind of slimmed it down, but R.I.P. Chris Von Eric as well, too. But I really enjoyed this movie. Like, as a wrestling fan, watching a movie like this, um, because that's basically the end. I mean, you know, they had the outro of the movie and shit like that. You know, of course, they sold sold, um, that Texas wrestling company to um, Jerry Jarrett. Of course, everybody who know wrestling know that. Um, And that's pretty much the end of it. Um, I really feel like the fact that Fritz Von Eric was really doing his best at trying to be Joe Jackson and the mama, she just turned a blind eye to everything. Like they would go through something and they would tell them that they need to figure it out amongst themselves. No, motherfucker, you need to figure out you, they parent. It wasn't no curse. It was neglect of parents. Even though these motherfuckers was grown. Through their childhood, they probably neglected them and just put each other on each other. Because they didn't necessarily maybe know how to raise their fucking kids. And I mean, I ain't trying to be, be you know, disrespectful to the Von Eric family, but at the end of the day, Fritz Von Eric was being like Joe Jackson. I mean, he was beating out the ring. Faster! Faster! I mean, golly. <coughs> Honestly... It was a really good movie, and and I did appreciate that movie. Um, I would definitely watch it again, and I hope they come out with more movies from A24. Um, The Iron Claw was, like I said, a really good movie. Y'all should go check it out if y'all haven't already checked it out. Um, We got more videos coming. I have been sick, so I do apologize for not dropping anything lately, but we do got more videos coming out. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Go check out the Iron Claw. This was just a quick review on the video. Nobody cares about Mercedes Monet. Fuck CM Punk. Fuck AEW. Fuck MJF. Fuck Tony Khan. I'm out this bitch. It's your